Hello everyone. Okay, so we have this problem to deal with. 2x plus 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. Okay, so what is the first step to take? The first step that I want to take here is um, to express this to so have power of 2. So from here, and I'm going to have 2x plus 2 to the power of 2. Then this is also having power of 2. I have broken this into 2. Then on the other side, 16 is 4 to the power of 2. Right? Then we can expand this one. This, what we have on the inside, that's going to be 2x plus 2 multiply by 2x plus 2 okay 2x times 2x is 4x squared 2x times 2 that will be plus 4x 2 times 2x that will be plus 4x again then we have plus 4 we have 4x squared plus 8x plus 4 so this is what we're going to have in this bracket so we have 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. Then there's a square on it, right? Then if I take this 4 squared to the left, it becomes minus 4 squared. And everything is equal to 0. Now we can apply the um, difference of two squares. Okay, so we have um, if you have a squared minus b squared, this is a plus b into a minus b. So I'm going to apply this right away. So my a now is the whole of this one, which is 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. Then our b is 4. So we write plus 4. Then into the next one that will be 4x squared plus 8x plus 4 then we have minus 4 right this is 4 minus 4 then everything is equal to 0 okay now to continue with this we have 4x squared plus 8x plus 8 this is what we have in the first bracket then in the second bracket there are 4x squared plus 8x then 4 minus 4 that is gone so we need to close this and equate to 0 now we use 0 product rule it's either 4x squared plus 8 plus 8x plus 8 is equal to 0 or what we have there is equal to zero. But let's deal with this first. From here, I can reduce this equation by dividing all through by four. Because four is a factor of all of them, apart from the zero there. This will go there, so we have x squared. This will go there, we'll have plus two x. Plus four will go there, we have two, and then 4 into 0 is 0 because it's not possible. Now, from here we have a quadratic equation and we're going to solve this using the formula method. The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, our a is a coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is 2. And our c is also 2, so we substitute into this. x will now be... This minus b becomes minus 2. Plus or minus, we open this. b squared, that will be 2 squared minus 4 times 1, which is a then times c, and our c is 2. All of this is over 2 times 1, and that will give us 2. 
Now x from here is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8. Because 4 times 1 times 2 is um, 8. Then we divide this by 2. Okay, so x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8 is minus 4. Then we divide by 2. So that our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus. Now to find the square root of um, minus 4, this negative is giving us i because it's not um, giving us a real solution. So it's complex. Then square root of 4 will now be 2. So we have i times 2 or 2 times i as the case may be. So we divide this by 2, right? Then our x will be, by the way, this can go there. We have minus 1 plus or minus. The same 2 will go there and we have i. So this means that x is equal to minus 2 plus i or minus 2 minus i. So this is um, a 2 in 1 solution for the x. But then we left out one of the factors. Let's go back and pick it. We have the other factor in the box in the bracket which is 4 4 x squared plus 8x. So we will equate it to 0. Let me go back to the point where we left it. Okay, so here is the factor. We only dealt with this factor to have the two solutions. Now we are going back to this 4x squared plus 8x and we equate it to 0. This is also a quadratic equation because of the power of 2 and the equal sign as well as the unknown variable. Now we can divide this by 4. This will go, so we have x squared plus this will go there, we have 2x, everything is 0. Now what do we do? We can apply factorization here because x is common, 1x will be here, plus here we have 2. Then we equate to 0. And this means that x is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. x remains 0 or x is equal to 0 minus 2. As x remains 0, on the other side, x is equal to minus 2. So we have two solutions from here as well. Let's bring um, the four solutions together. We have x1. I'm going to call this my x1 and x2. x1 is 0. Then x2 is minus 2. Then we have our x3, which is um, minus 1 plus i. Then we have x4, which is minus 1 minus i. Okay, so this and this are the real solutions, while this and this are complex solutions.